Morning folks, Sunday morning. I got bad air this morning. Must be the clock's changing, but I don't know. Hey, I'll probably get it chopped off later today. So we're down there Sunday morning. Uh, gonna bear some tube up. I've got more light arms to get made up. But uh, anyway, thanks for your comments and likes. Yesterday's video, sorry it was a bit of a short one, but it's just how it goes sometimes. So uh, let's make a show and uh, get this uh, lot folded up into shape. There we go, one lot of tube. We got these cut a while ago. So I've got to come down this morning. We've got the old bender up there set up, marked up. So we'll get the bends on one end and then sort the bends the other end. So let's get bending. Well, there's 10 ends bent to the 90s. Then just got to mark out and do the other one. We've got them marked. Just got to remember to do them left and right because obviously they're opposites. So that'd be five of one and five of the other. So I'll reset that. And make a start on that. Well, that's three halves done. Haven't gone too bad. And hopefully I've got them 90 degrees to 90 degrees. Just in case you're using a big square. Hang up over there to get it lined up. So it should be right. Fingers crossed. There we go. Five sets, all bent to shape. Got your 45s there, and the 90s there. I'm pleased with that. It's not a bad shape for this morning. I think it's time to go and do some paperwork. Another bane of my life oh, job. Just had a delivery turn up. We got some of our uh, inch foam, the black perforated uh, vinyl on. So I've got two sheets in that one and a sheet in that one. That ain't cheap, but I've got it because we've got to finish the cab lining kit for that one. Um, somebody else wants a kit. So uh, apprentice will be busy next week with the scissors, cutting stuff up. Anyway, I'm out of here. So a bit of maintenance on the mule. Trying to work out why it wouldn't charge. Uh, the old days has had it. And it's a pain in the ass to get to. To get the bottom bolt out, to get the thing off. Because you've got to go underneath here. And it's that tiny little bolt. Uh, where is it? That one there. Try and get a socket on it. And it's tight. Bugger. Horrible little thing to get out. All right, I'll send it off to the boys and see if it can be repaired or we're going to need a new one. There we go, it's safe. Morning folks, it's Monday morning, beginning of the week. Another one to, on its way to be busy and hopefully not screw anything up. So uh, uh, yeah, I hope you all got over the change of the clocks. I know I'm just not going to go to bed earlier and um, yeah, wake up early. So yeah, morning of paper and paying bills and I've just uh, been down to my uh, Auto electrician chap to pick up some uh, switches and buttons and things and drop the alternator off for the mill yesterday. So, yeah, we're we'll head on back now and uh, see what we can mess up the day. Hopefully, apprentices is in. So, uh, yeah, normal service of uh, this taking will be resumed. So, let's go. So, we finally got the right brake light switch which fits into that manifold. And we've also picked up a new push button for the horn. So uh, we can uh, get this ready to go together and we'll get that one wired into the dashboard. Well, I thought I'd better get the old uh, welding mask a bit of a clean up because uh, I couldn't really see what I was doing. So a nice clear lens there and uh, a nice clean one. Well, probably fits on it, but a nice clean one there as opposed to that. The things are just getting a little bit foggy through there. Yeah, the princess is busy over there doing some volume that. Good to have a back. Right, so it's Monday. I'm back to work after half term, which is, uh, yeah, worn me out. But I went through Mr. JCB's tools and I've ended up filling my toolbox. And yeah, I've got some extra stuff. I've, got, I've actually got a woman's hammer. I thought Graham might like this. It's a bit smaller, look, I can use it. I've got sets of spanners, little mini ones. Got loads of bits and pieces. So, uh, yeah, back to work and having a break for a change. So, apprentices here deep in concentration, using a tape measure, cutting up bits and bits and more bits, and I'm busy here assembling bits that she's previously cut up. So, yeah, make sure you get the right measurement. I know it's the first day back, 
but at least it's no stress. Quite <laughs> 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 We've got one pair there welded up. As I say, been busy chopping stuff. Shape, been on the plasma cutter, got the hot in there. Uh, yeah, we've got. What else have we got chopped up? Loads of stuff, haven't no, we? No, I'm looking for a pen. A pen? There's a red one now. Try that. Or is your black one? No, I've got a red one. Alright, I'll mark out the other bits there that go in underneath those. So, yeah, when you get a good routine going, it all works well. Morning, folks. Tuesday morning. Yeah, this hour's messed me up. I seem to want to go to bed early and wake up early. Anyway, we're down here. Eagle Plant got their six wheeler this morning. So I put the keys up yesterday afternoon. So yeah, just got here. Well, um, as you can see, door's open. We'll get it fired up and do the deed and get it back. Uh, hopefully, nothing underwater. And see if we can start making some more stuff today. Obviously, before I'd done all that little bit with uh, picking it up and doing it underneath, I'd been around, done all the lights, blown all the tyres up, tapped all the wheel nuts, uh, checked the seat belts, windscreen washers, wipers, horn, and yeah, push the jacks in. So that all takes time. But yeah, that was just a little, uh, I wish it was that quick, putting the jacks in, lifting it up and doing all that, but it all takes time. So having knowing the truck, I know everything's in order from six weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, no reason to doubt it, but still got to look and check. So, we'll get the paperwork filled out, print the brake test off, which I did when I picked it up this morning. And, uh, yeah, we can get it on back. And then, hopefully, do some useful stuff today. Postman's just called in. I dropped something off for Apprentice, and she's in absolute state of shock at the moment. There's some nice people out there that appreciate and understand Albert and Megs. Um, You're in a state of shock, aren't you? I am. I can't believe it. Just Does had. It help Albert out so, so much. It's Meg to have a bit of independence. That is so nice. He could do his little jigsaw puzzles and stuff. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. No. Even I'm nearly in tears. <laughs> God only knows why, but that's just brilliant. I can't believe it. Thank you. <laughs> well, obviously the alternator that I took down yesterday was knackered. But I just had a brand new one arrive. Yeah, so we can get that put back on the mule. Happy days. That's what we like, good service. I try my best, but it doesn't always work out here. So yeah, yeah, well done, Julian at Norfords. Thank you very much. International rescue. It won't start. So we'll test the battery and we got the old booster pack there. See if we can get this thing to go for uh, the landlord. At least the digger's working. Well, it should do. Well, 11 volts. That's not really too good. Let's do a battery test on it. 12 volt. Uh, not most, regular flooded. CCA, might be about 750. And 
printer. See what it says. Before charge. Yeah, I think the battery's probably had it on this. Uh, or a good recharge. Now I've finally started uh, getting over the shock of receiving what I did for uh, the kids. Um, yeah, I've been making parts and uh, cutting bits out. But yeah, simple things like a tablet will make such a difference for Albert. Even if it's to do his jigsaw puzzles, or make train track, or even learn to count a bit. It's, it's a huge present, and yeah, we're very grateful. Well, another pair there welded up. Their parents are still busy chopping at bits, but you're still in a bit of a two and eight, aren't you, after that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've got another... Uh, one of these cut and folded up so we need to chop some more of this up to make some more of these bits to go on those bits down there in the meantime that's on charge because it was flat so hopefully after lunch ish we can go and give that thing up there another go right so we've had another busy day today um cutting out parts and making bits and i've written myself a sticker not sure what for, but I got one. Made loads of bits. Uses a lot of concentration. Now I'm tired. Tell oh, this thing, whoever designed this bloody Japanese flipping Kawasaki rubbish wants shooting. There's a pain in the ass to put back it together. Yeah, Pox a little bolt there to get in. That one there on the bottom of the old thing. You're going to get one flat turn on the damn thing. But I've got it started after taking out another three bolts just to get the bolt in the hole. <laughs> Hello, folks. Well, it's been a busy event for a couple of three days. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. Do click the old like and subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. Any comments, I'll get back to you. That mule, that was something else to put back together. And today, yeah, that was a bit on the uh, on the whole heartstrings we've got to turn up for Penny's kids. Uh, uh, yeah, there's some nice people out there. So, uh, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Uh, so until the next time, take it steady. I'm going to do some more paperwork now with a glass of wine. So, laters.